It gives me great pleasure to once again be here at the Army Corps College in Nigeria for the second edition of this exercise. I'm particularly delighted that this second edition of the Joint Operations Planning Exercise of the Services for College <coughs> is coming at this time. As you all know, the idea of the Joint Operations Planning Exercise for the War Colleges is to enhance jointness amongst the services during the planning and execution phases of all our operations. Accordingly, the maiden edition, as was earlier mentioned, was successfully conducted and for the first time ever, participants of the War Colleges practiced what they have learned in their respective War Colleges in a joint setting during the maiden edition of the GOS. This second edition of the exercise, which is built around contemporary, realistic, and real-time security events in Nigeria and beyond, <coughs> marks the culmination of several months of significant efforts made towards developing the skills of participants of the three war colleges in the operational arts, operational design, and decision-making process, amongst others. It is certainly another milestone in the professional military education trajectory of the Nigerian military and the quest to properly equip our officers for the present and future assignments. As think tanks of the Air Force of Nigeria, the war colleges are indeed the laboratories and incubation centers for the production of military operational level plans, as well as for measurement of performance and effectiveness of subsisting plans with a view to revising them for enhanced effectiveness. To this end, the product of this joint operations planning exercise will form part of the military strategic decision for some ongoing and future operations. This, of course, underscores the significance of this exercise and the resources committed to its actualization. Today's event, therefore, demonstrates the ability of the war colleges to ensure the maintain and enduring tradition that will enshrine joint planning culture at the military operational leadership level. This culture is indeed essential to the development of operational level capacity towards tackling the multifarious contemporary security challenges and for future military operations. The complex 21st century security environment holds huge implications not only for the military but also for all sectors of governance and the society. The contemporary security environment weaves through all levels of organizational decision-making systems that cut across international and cultural boundaries. It is gratifying, therefore, to observe the diverse array of participants from the military and other security agencies, as well as allied foreign militaries, military officers that will be participating in this exercise, as, of course, already enunciated by the commandant, or deputy commandant. In the light of the foregoing, I'm convinced that the knowledge, skills, and capacities that you, the participants, have acquired particularly in the operational arts will enhance your operational judgment in a joint operating environment and will remain an indelible resource of your problem solving and decision making loops. Considering this, you will be doing yourself and indeed our dear country a whole lot of good by keeping the acquired skills up to date through continuous learning. Learning, of course, is part, should be part and part of us until we drop dead. Let me stress that you will need to keep an open mind and take calculated risk as this will be the key to your effective functioning in the contemporary complex security environment. One area we expect such open-mindedness is in preferring workable solutions to the myriad of security challenges that currently face us as a nation. Talking about the Nigerian participants, and of course, you all know what these problems are in the northeast, the northwest, the north central, and indeed other parts of the country. As you, all are, as you all are aware, the military is currently engaged in internal security operation in most of the 36 states of the country and the FCT. 
These are schools trained on available resources committed to ongoing counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations in the Northeast and indeed other parts of our country. It is my view, therefore, that the war colleges always come in handy in developing plans and strategies that will enable optimization of available resources towards achieving our national military objectives. It is thus important and gratifying that the war colleges are sustaining the ideas of joint operations planning and exercises such as this. This will surely institutionalize a culture of joint planning, training and collective efforts in security operations. The service chiefs, very senior officers, excuse me, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today's event would definitely not have been possible without the support of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR. It is on this note that I wish to thank Mr. President for his vision of emplacing a highly professional and responsive armed forces for the country. I also wish to thank the Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Sali Magashi, retired, for the material support and guidance to the military. I wish to also thank the service chiefs for their direction and completion support to their respective war colleges. I am delighted to note and commend the efforts of the commandants and the various staff of the war colleges in preparing the participants to contribute in high capacities to national security and defense efforts. It is therefore now my honor to declare, and of course before I do that, let me use this opportunity to encourage us Yes, we may be um, pressed for time because of the engagement that we have in at National Defense College immediately after now. But to also encourage the of force to not only uh, you know, put your mind of, of course, be having, you know, be present in the exercise, but equally take notes that will enable us to improve on the future, the quality of future exercises of this nature. And by implication, they feed outcomes because the whole essence of this exercise is to see that we translate it into our various operational theaters. So what do we need to do to, to uh, enhance the effectiveness of the like of, of you know, the operational outcomes of the various theaters that remains part and parcel of what I expect you to take note of. So that at the end of the day, as you put up your reports, that these will help us of course, guide our decision uh, going forward. I have no doubt in my mind that the quality of officers by virtue of the, the feedback I've gotten from the three report colleges that we are indeed aim to have you know, officers that not only are committed and responsive, but of course that are there to give us the desired entity in terms of the military objectives as well, uh, you know, tasked to do. So on that note, I'd like to declare the second edition of the Joint Operations Plan SS for the Services War College exercise, code name exercise, Skylock 2022. Thank you and God bless.